Let's take a look at the recap of our previous video. Kaleshwaram Lift Irrigation Project in Telangana is the world's largest and most ambitious multi-stage lift irrigation project. It is a flagship project of the state government for supplying water to the drought-prone upland regions of Telangana through lifts and pumps into a huge and complex system of reservoirs, water tunnels, pipelines and canals. With state-of-the-art pumps, motors and other equipment at the heart of this irrigation system, the project will be lifting 2,000 million cubic feet TMC, of water daily with the help of 139 megawatt mammoth pumps. Confirming technical feasibility for such projects is a real challenge as there are numerous factors which could play spoil sport, including the geographic terrains, the nature of the underground soil and many others. The design and delivery of electrical equipments was extremely critical as the final outcome of the quantum of water being pumped out from each of these pumping stations was dependent on the performance of the complete pumping station, which includes pumps, motors, motor starters, control system and many other auxiliaries. The client right from the beginning has emphasized about the importance of the project. Uh, this is a project uh, with a huge social importance which brings water to several number of people, millions of people, as well as to the industry at the region. So uh, that's one of the reasons, one of the fundamentals that uh, brings uh, an extremely high importance in completing this on time because it's a life-changing uh, project for the society in the nearby region. The magnitude of this massive project can be gauged from the fact that it involves 1.8 crore cubic meters of earthwork excavation, 18.5 lakh cubic meters of concreting work, 1.35 lakh metric tons of steel work, 5.5 lakh square meters of form work, and over 2 lakh 50 thousand metric tons of hydro mechanical works. The power requirement at each substation varies from 0.45 megawatt to 973 megawatt. The total power required for the project is about 4,627.24 megawatt. So of course, uh, we can enumerate some of the challenges, right? For example, from the engineering stage, uh, which required us to complete all the analysis, I mean, which is done basically for, well, for each and every component of this machine must be properly studied, analyzed before the manufacturing. This is a complete tailor-made machine, uh, which requires uh, a very detailed engineering uh, in all aspects. One of the main challenges naturally will be I mean, getting the full raw material for these particular massive machines, as well as uh, the machining and stamping of all these silicon steels, I mean, winding of all these uh, coils, uh, special coils. So the major challenge was, as I mentioned before, where we had to attend various meetings with, with high levels, with the irrigation minister we met several times. We had to explain, we had to promise that we, that we are ready with our equipment within a very short uh, period. Set of challenges, I, I, would, uh, I would say, were doing the commissioning for these, for these pump stations because there were so many, so many sub-suppliers involved and uh, we were one of the sub-suppliers, but as, uh, as, I, as I explained before, the pumps were considered utmost important, so we were, we were also here in the major focus and there was a lot of coordination work to be done with with other suppliers like for for the motors um, for the scatter system for the starting equipment of the machines and so on and so on our WEG was responsible for the design manufacturing direction and commissioning of the motor sets right so the complete motors has been designed by us and excitation systems supplied by us as well as the brake system and all related equipment uh, with the motor uh, uh, needs uh, has been supplied by WG. So these motors are extremely large in 
terms of size, each unit was weighting around 262 tons. So these are very large equipment, uh, which brings us a lot of challenges, not only in the design, as well as with manufacturing and erection and commissioning at site. ABB was interested with the supply, erection and commissioning of large low-speed synchronous machines and motor starters or LCIs as we call it for the three critical stages of this project. Our supplies also include electrics and power distribution as well as control system for one of these stages. These state-of-art machines were supplied from our Finland factory and the LCIs from our Switzerland facility. So far there are 37 numbers of synchronous machines and 13 numbers of LCIs commissioned for this project. Each of these mega motors weighing close to 200 metric ton was assembled, tested and disassembled before shipping it out to India. Our team assembled it at site before commissioning. This was a project was called the Pranahita, Pranahita irrigation scheme at that time. That was before the, uh, the southern states were bifurcated to Andhra Pradesh and to Telangana. So we were in, involved in, the, in this project uh, more than one decade already. Um, so we were aware of all these requirement, requirements for the, for the pumping schemes and we, and we made a lot of different investigations according to different setups of all these uh, pump, various pump houses. And the pumps uh, are considered as the heart, as the heart uh, of, let's say, of an irrigation pump house. And so we, we were under tremendous, tremendous pressure to perform well. Um, the major benefit is is no doubt to be part of, of such a such such a huge irrigation scheme which is considered the the largest uh, multi-stage irrigation scheme in the world the project comprises three barrages namely medigadda annaram and sundila all of them have their own unique construction story for example Medigadda Barrage is 1,625 meters in length with 84 giant piers, each 110 meters long, 4 meters or 6 meters wide and 25 meters high. During the construction of this barrage, 20,000 metric ton of steel gates were fabricated in 12 months and 85 gates were erected in 4 months. Annaram Barrage was built within the record time of 24 months. The barrage made use of secant piling in the cut-off foundation for the first time in the world for barrage construction. 12 lakh cubic meters of concreting was done for the entire project. 55,000 metric tons of reinforcement steel was used. 80 lakh cubic meter of earthwork was moved. 1,500 tons of cement consumed on average per day. For the Sundila barrage, Total concrete consumption was about 10,60,000 cubic meter with a steel component of 53,000 tons. Further, structural steel for the radial gates consumed a massive 16,000 tons and for the stop lock gates, 1,386 tons. The Sundila barrage structure is 1,447 meters long. Post commissioning of the project, over 200 TMC of water have been pumped out and this is a significant achievement for the team. The journey so far has been very satisfying. Yes, we are really proud in having successfully achieved this uh, magnificent uh, objective. That means getting all these motors commissioned duly as per the original uh, dreams that have become true. Thank you. <laughs>